Input. How do we get information into a computer? A lot of different ways. So you probably previously listed some input devices, so what we want to talk about are a few more. Um, pointing devices, keypad, touch screen, and so forth. For example, on your phone, you use a touch screen, and that acts as your keyboard and so forth. A lot of tablets are touch screens. Some people attach a keyboard to it. Okay. Typical PCs have a keyboard and um, a pointing device, a mouse. Okay, a touch, a touch pad is a pointing device. But anyway, let's take a look at trying to distinguish the difference here in terms of devices. Imaging capping, capturing, um, it's like taking in and laying an actual photo into a scanner, scanning that photo and getting an image out, which is usually a bit mapped image, a bunch of dots that represent the picture. We have barcodes that are used a lot in retail, but they're used a lot of other places too, where you have that barcode, and when you look it up, you'll see examples. You have that barcode and you scan it, and the barcode really gives the computer a number. And then based on that number, the computer can do something like get the price out of an inventory. Quick response code, QR codes, very popular. They look like a box with a bunch of squiggly, you know, a bunch of colored parts in there. You can assign, here's one example, a URL. So in a situation where you don't want to give people a URL and you don't want them to type it in. See, this is what we're trying to say. If somebody mistyping a URL, you just create that. And we'll create them in class. They're not hard to create. And uh, people online, we'll, we'll show you how to create that. The week we're talking about this material. And you can create that, and it connects it to a URL. So somebody can use their phone or their tablet, scan it, and it takes them to a website. Near Field Communications Technology. Depending on what type this usually is, usually it's using like Bluetooth or whatever, but your devices can be close to each other. And we can just send the signal right through the air. And this is a particular technology that allows us to do that. Um, Apple Pay. Apple Pay uses that if the, uh, you can have your phone, and if the terminal where you're buying something, if they take Apple Pay, you can just use your phone and send the information over to them. It's really interesting how that works because you don't actually send, you don't actually send your, um, your account number. What you do is you send them they create a unique number here, so if somebody steals this, it's not any good because you can only use it once. It only works for one purchase, and then it works for the next purchase and the next, but it's unique. And then what this does, this uses the internet and goes out to Apple, who has your account, and then they send the money to the right people. Yeah, that might sound a little scary, but that's how it works. There's computers. You can read your face, read your eyes. Minority Report was a movie with... Um, um, what's his name from, uh, uh, I can't think of his name, but um, he was in a lot of famous movies, Top Gun and so forth, Tom Cruise. Yeah, so in that movie they showed eye recognition. Um, there's places that can read your face. So it can determine a person based on, on that. Um, some of you may have used, you know, your fingerprint. Um, by the way, Apple Pay uses your fingerprint. You type this in, put your finger on the deal, it makes the transaction. Uh, some places have a handprint um, to register who you are and so forth. There are other fancy ways of getting information into the computer. All kinds of ways. Okay? But these probably what you will see normally. There's some other places. Output. You know, um, or excuse me, not output, audio input, you can talk to the device. Or sounds can tell the device what to do. Certain sounds. There are a lot of cool ways that this is improving. 
in terms of you know hands-off uh, functioning with devices you can tell them what to do so down here you can find some new technology that is also cool maybe with how people get prosthetic limbs to move and so forth so you could probably have a whole course just on input devices <laughs> but this I think is enough for us to know right now to move forward